Hey everyone, it's Judy here from Just Judy. I was doing a little reading from a magazine I used to get in the mail a long time ago. It's called Crown with Silver. I used to read it a lot. They don't make them anymore, but I kept all my copies. And this one's called The Taming of the Shrews. And I remember reading this one, um, and it helped me a lot in my marriage. And I just thought I would share it with anyone out there who might be married or have a problem like this. And um, everyone's situation is different. I understand that. So just understand that uh, this is just for me, and then maybe there might be a few out there that might benefit from it. Anyway, it's a Bible study for the repentant shrew. And it says, what in the world is a shrew? How can a sweet, loving Christian wife and mother ever be called a shrew? This is a, a Christian magazine, so that's why they pointed out the Christian wife and mother. Well, if we are completely honest with ourselves, we'll first find out what a shrew is and then ask ourselves if we we'll ever have any of these characteristics. The dictionary tells us the following. A shrew is a noun, which is a woman with a violent, scolding, or nagging temperament. A scold. A nagging temperament. I think that's the part that touches me the most because it is so easy to just nag and never know when to stop. Sometimes you're like, well, why am I doing this? Just stop, but your it's like your mouth just does not have a turn off button. But we need to learn to control ourselves better than this because many times we're just nagging over little stupid things, things that really are not important enough to even bring up. And it makes our husbands tune us out. So when we really have something important to say, they're not listening. I found that out a long time ago. And I just wanted to share this with y'all. Anyone that's like newly married and it may help older couples who, who, you know, have this problem a little bit. And sometimes it takes a long time for your husband to not tune into that. I mean, you know, you actually may be complaining about something sincerely, but he just automatically thinks you're nagging, and you're not. So it's really important that you try not to just, just talk, just to be talking and just gripe about little things that are really not important. It's not important enough to ruin a marriage, and it builds up. It'll build up and up and up into your marriage until you can't. It, it's just irreversible. And a lot of times it's our tongues that causes it. Because the last thing I want to be called or known as, let's see, is that a battle axe. Wow, I haven't heard that word in a long time. And like I said, this is an older magazine. But anyway, I hope that um, y'all get a little, I don't know, something out of this. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just, just was on my mind and I just wanted to share it. I hope you all have a blessed day and thank you for watching.